everyone in this video we will learn about the concept of function overloading in C++ first of all what is function overloading function overloading is the process of two or more function with the same name but different in parameter is called a function overloading in C++ in function overloading the function is redefined by using either different types of argument or a different number of argument the main advantage of function overloading is that it increases the readability of the program because you do not need to use different names for the same action There are three ways to overload a function. The first way is parameter should have a different type. Let's see the example. Class ABC and ABC class having a public member function void sum. And some function takes two integer parameter. Second, some function takes two double type parameters. Addition of two integer. And second function display the addition of two double type values. Class end with the closing curly braces and semicolon. Now inside the main function create the object of ABC class. And with the help of object and dot operator call the member function. Now a1 dot sum. The first function takes two integer argument. The pass two integer values. In the second case, pass two double type values. Now run this code. Now after the execution of this code the output is addition of two integer is 25 and addition of two double type values is 25.9. Second case for function overloading is parameter should have a different number. Parameter should have a different number. First sum function takes two integer parameter and second sum function takes three integer parameters when first function call pass two integer values when second function call for second function we have to pass three integer values right this is the second case parameter should have a different number first function takes two integer parameter and second function takes three integer parameter function return type is same and function name is also same this is a function overloading run this code now after the execution of this code the addition of two integer is 25 and addition of 3 integer is 40. Third case for function overloading is parameter should have a different sequence of parameters. First sum function takes one integer and another double type. Second sum function 
takes one double and one integer inside the main function we have to call function for first function first function takes one integer and another floating type value and the second function takes one floating type and another integer value now run this code addition of one integer and one double is 25.76 and addition of one double and one integer is 25.78 now in the third case parameter should have a different sequence return type is same and function name is same but sequence is different This is all about the function overloading in C++. 